hi guys welcome back to naturally sunny i'm sunny for those of you who don't know thank you so much for tuning in let's just get right into it i have been a wall for like a month and i've really been going through some stuff i'm sorry but that video was about to be 24 minutes long i'm sitting in my car and i'm editing it and i'm just like Ain't nobody got time for that. I was just like, okay, I need to quickly and concisely say what I want to say without all the rambling. And if anybody wants to know anything else about what's been going on for the past few weeks, I'm probably going to talk about it on other platforms. So basically, I've been doing this cleanse since March. I've been doing it on and off since March, and I'm fed up. I'm really, I'm really, I've really hit a point where I'm just like, if this isn't over by now, I'm just gonna have to stick with these parasites. They're just gonna have to stay with me. They will be my babies and we will hopefully grow old together. It's fine. Uh, when doing it correctly and stringently, I have seen amazing results. I have had like a tremendous weight loss. I'm not necessarily, I'm not necessarily proud of that. Like it's not something that was a goal was to lose like 20, 20, I lost 26 pounds doing, do, doing this cleanse and like no, no exercise, nothing. I just did this cleanse and it's not something that I'm really trying to promote, but for some people that's huge because like these parasites could be part of the reason why you haven't been able to lose weight because you think like, you're just like, oh, I just like eating junk. I love food. Yes, I love food, but not to the point where my stomach is about to explode but i'm still shoving stuff in my mouth like that's not me i know that's not me i now know from doing this cleanse that that was not me and that is who i thought i was for years anyway i had inflammation my inflammation has gone down i sleep better uh, i have way more energy and like less of a cranky <sighs> cranky cranky attitude like i can be really short with people and really just really aggressive that has like shifted i'm less i'm still a little aggressive but i mean well i'm more flexible like my joints my body doesn't ache so it, it like it makes me feel like i can do anything because like it's not like stiffness when I first wake up in the morning. My appetite has changed. I used to have like this really uh, full belly. I wasn't, I wasn't digesting food in like a normal amount of, a normal amount of time. Like I would go to bed, like I would eat at like seven or eight, go to bed around like 11, 12, wake up around eight the next day. And like, I still feel like I just ate. And um, that's changed. It's like more, more regular bowel movements um my stool have been slightly more regular uh my periods have shortened they weren't that long to begin with they were like three days and a quarter and now it's two days so i don't know if it's because of that because of getting older because of like being vegan i have no idea it could be a mixture of all of it who knows but that's happened we've messed up a lot we have messed up so much and when i say messed up i mean you're supposed to be very strict on the on the cleanse uh there's a lot of things you're not supposed to have carbs sugars breads pastas rice um basically grains um like nothing you can't have beef and pork because those things already have parasites anyway um but it's recommended that you don't eat meat because parasites so it's like you're doing all this hard work to get rid of them but you're also still gonna slightly consume them not the best idea when i say we've messed up i mean we've had well for me it's been bad because i was craving burgers at one point like i was craving red meat and it was disgusting um and like i would be satisfied for like a good 30 seconds and then i would just be like why did i just do this we've messed up a lot and because of that i've noticed uh my muscle aches, my joint pain, all of that comes back and it's it has came back in new forms and in new places. Um, my, na my night terrors have came back. The insatiable appetite came back from doing this. And I was just like, I would stuff my face with burgers and then 
stuff it with fries and then stuff it with the soda and then a frosty and so it just like kept going on and on my attitude is back <laughs> my impatience and like lack of just like empathy and understanding for other people like i don't know why that changes it's so weird but i just i just gotta get this i don't care attitude and i don't have time to listen to you speak and it's it's bad my stools were loose and like unsavory migraines my migraines are back my inflammation is back and i have like the worst pain i have ever experienced in my knee currently um not sure what what exactly i can do about that but it's like extremely tight and stiff and it hurts when i walk so that's not fun but that's what i get for eating crap we've hit this point where we're just kind of like super super freaking fed up with this whole process and we've realized with trial and error that you essentially you need five things to have a successful cleanse and we would like have three of those things and two would be lacking or two would be good and three would be lacking and we wouldn't be consistent with everything that we had to fight this thing off so now we have teas and herbs we're taking like roots burdock root dandelion root raspberry leaves um and basically we're just taking that we're eating a lot of raw garlic we're ha we still have the diatomaceous earth and the woodworm and black walnut hull tincture and basically we're only eating foods like we've gotten to the point where food is not even enjoyable anymore because i don't know how many kale salads i can eat but we're basically only consuming things that kill the parasites or cleanse the liver because cleansing the liver is key to this being successful because it produces um when you detox your liver it produces bile and you release bile and parasites cannot will not refuse to live in an environment with bile so then you just start to you poop them all out at least i think that's the only way they come out i have not vomited out parasites but my girlfriend has and that is not fun that's not cute so i'm giving it a week if if it's not over if i don't feel great within a week uh i'm just i'm just gonna have to say fuck it because i can't do this anymore march i mean i could do this some more but it's just frustrating there's a group i will be talking about this stuff in the group the group has been dead i have not touched it because i hit a point where we just kept messing up and we kept eating stuff and i felt like who am i to to tell these people what to do and i'm not doing it myself and i'm failing miserably and blah 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 but in reality like i could have been sharing that with people letting them know like hey don't do what i did um but anyway bygone the stuff will be in the group i will be more active in the group because i feel like this is very important stuff for everyone to know and everyone to share so i will leave a link to the group it's a facebook group i don't know if i said facebook it's a facebook it's a facebook group i will leave the link in the description box and i will also leave a link to all of the things that i bought during this cleanse so that you guys can know exactly what to look for and um if you're not seeing me on here, I will see you on all the other social medias and um, hopefully in the next video. Bye.